Hi, this is Gary DeBach in Puyallup, Washington. I'll be giving a demonstration here of a new 8-inch ferrite sleeve loop antenna. Uh, my target station is a Daytime DX fringe station, CFAX, in Victoria, British Columbia. It's about 90 miles distant to the northwest. So I've got my 8-inch FSL, and I also have a 4-foot PVC air core loop which I use as a reference antenna to measure the performance of these two. So anyway, I have my barefoot Texan PL380 now, which shows no reading at all on the CFAX station. But as I move it toward the 8-inch FSL, you can see I have strong inductive coupling off to the side of the 8-inch FSL. And I also get strong inductive coupling here in front of the 8-inch FSL. So I'm looking at the uh, reading that I get on CFAX 1070. I have uh, 41 on RSSI right now, and uh, I was cycling uh, 22 right now, and my inductive coupling, of course, changes as I move in and out. But I'm getting about 22. I'm going to be moving over to check my signal on the same station on the four-foot PVC air core loop. And of course, when I move away from the FSL, I lose uh, 1070 CFAX. I am right now down to a 0, 0 signal to noise ratio. But I'm heading over to the four foot air core loop here. My signal will come up quite dramatically as I get within about eight inches of it. By the way, this four foot air core loop is designed to be disassembled, it'll fit in the trunk of a car. Uh, very convenient for ocean beach runs. Anyway, here we go. So you can see I've got uh, here on the air core loop 47 RSSI and 22 on uh, signal to noise and I've got it cycling like it was on the other 8 inch FSL. Anyway, uh, the purpose of this video is to show that the new 8-inch FSL is competitive, uh, not only competitive, but it will match the signal of this much larger antenna. And uh, when I test them out directly, actually the 8-inch FSL is slightly superior in overall signal to noise ratio. So I hope it's been interesting, and thank you for watching.